What they, they, advantage they, is there? Forget the subsidy. What advantage is there to a we, state as opposed to the Fed setting up the exchange? Forget to, the subsidy. To get reelected. Do you want to go out and tell your citizens, I have just denied you hundreds no, of billions of... No, 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 no. You have to forget the subsidy. See, you, 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 you keep asserting the proposition in a way that it's the answer to your question. Forget the subsidy. I'm trying to understand, because I've thought about this a lot. Your oh. argument makes no sense. Who cares who sets up the exchange? Ben Nelson. The enactors of the Nelson act. Care. Who cares? Ben Nelson. They couldn't get to 60 unless Ben Nelson said we are not going to have a federally run exchange. We are going to implement basic principles of federalism, and the states are going to run those exchanges, or I don't vote for it. Okay, it doesn't and then pass. what Congress now, did then was what Congress to set did up was, a, let me give you my question. Sure. And what Congress did for getting the subsidies is they set up this arrangement. Yes. The states can do it if you want to do it. If not, we'll do it. It said the states shall do it, and if you don't, we will we do it. We will do it. And that tells you that they wanted an exchange in the state. But it doesn't, if but they preferred a state run exchange. Answer question. Forget the subsidy. I am Who forgetting. Who cares? I am forgetting. Who cares other than the one person you've named? Who, what difference does it make who sets up the subsidy? There, There is evidence. There's no evidence coming from the states supporting what you're suggesting. And there is evidence that some states were happy to let the feds do it. They didn't want to be bothered. If that was true, that they were happy to have the feds do it, and the feds wanted the states to do it, that means you needed to provide them with a pretty big incentive. And the best and most closely drawn incentive for them to do what they were unwilling to do, but Ben Nelson and the Act wanted them to do, was to say, I'll give you hundreds of billions of dollars to your voters if you do it. Now, you're, if you say no, you're going to have to go back to those people of all income strata and to the, all those businesses who are adversely affected. Irony, and you have to tell irony, them... The great irony in your argument is you're standing there representing the employers and the folks, and you claim there are many, many, many of these folks in many, many, many of these states who want said. no part of this, and, and they are voting too. And then on the other side of your mouth, you're saying, well, but this is a great incentive for a state to set up the exchange because they have to go back to those voters. They don't want to give up that money. Well, the same, you're saying there are lots of those voters who want no part of this. Judge Edwards, with the greatest respect, surely the interpretation of a statute can't turn on what the plaintiffs think or believe. Surely if I had a supporter of the no, act no, coming I'm in here... I'm just taking no, you no, at your word. You, you start your argument. The crux of your argument is there was an incentive for the states to do that. I'm reading the stuff really carefully. That argument from day one has made no sense to me whatsoever, given who you're representing and given the number of people you say you represent who want no part of this. So the state, acting politically, is not clearly going to say, let's set up an exchange. Judge Edwards, let's assume one of two. If Congress gives them an option to set it up or not, they're going to say, let's not do it, because there are a lot of people in the state who don't want any part of it. Okay. There's two propositions. One's the states are reluctant to set up the exchanges. If that's true, then you need a very large incentive to get them to do it. Number two is Only the state... Only if it matters. Only if it matters. Who does it? They wanted the states to run the exchanges. They because? Said sh because they said shall run, because they needed Ben Nelson's vote to pass the act, and because... So don't it was, it was a, to Ben Nelson. It would, I'm not getting it. Okay. If you take the subsidy out... Yeah. Of the equation. Right. Then you get... asked, I know I've asked this seven times. Mm -hmm. I'm asking again. Take it out. Right. You have a provision that says state will do it or the feds will do it. What difference does it make who does it? Forget the subsidy. Because if you have the feds running it, it is the first step to quote Senator Nelson towards a federally run health care exchange. We want to ensure that we have state participation. Mm -hmm. You don't have to speculate about whether Senator Nelson's views prevail because you can look at the act. And the act says two very explicit things. The states shall do it, mm -hmm. which is hardly agnostic as to whether or not the states will do it. And two, only the states will get money to set up the exchanges. We won't give any money to the federal exchanges. Thought, so I've never mentioned the word subsidies, and that's how you know they wanted states I, I to run exchanges.